Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you for joining me again. Please don't forget to subscribe. In the last episode, uh, you saw me install a full interior to this Defender 90 RTD5 project. And uh, this one is gonna be one of those episodes. I can feel it already. We get, we've already got the wheels and tires here. We've got the two inch lift kit. And this thing is gonna be completely changing the direction of where we're going with this project. Initially, it was quite a sweet one. And now we're gonna be making it into a bit of a beast. So we've got a two inch lift. We've got some 30, I think they measure about 35 inch these tires. And uh, we've gone for the BF Goodrich KM3s, really, really nice looking tire, excellent off-road performance. And um, this should be the kind of the biggest size that we can roll with, and you still use it daily, but obviously when we're on the trails and stuff like that, overlanding, we're still gonna get the performance we need. And I'm super excited to basically get this looking right now, now that we know that we're kind of mechanically there, and it runs and everything like that, it's now time to make it start looking good and start having some fun with the build. So we're gonna crack on, and we're gonna basically strip off all this old suspension, the rear right hand shock is snapped, so we're gonna be replacing it with a full brick part super gas kit, plus two inch springs all round. We're gonna get the brake hoses on as well, plus two inch, these big wheels and tires. And um, we've got extended arches as well, have you painted those? So this thing's gonna be looking super, super cool. Once it's got its two inch lift, it's wheels, tire suspension, then we'll be doing some fun with the LEDs and the rest of it. But for now, let's strip off this old suspension and um, get straight to it. So as I said, we've chosen the BF Goodrich and we've got on this kind of size, we've got a 315-7516. And this is, I think it's just shy of 35 or just over 33, but this is kind of the maximum height that I'd want on a pretty much a standard axle setup. And this is gonna run this absolutely perfectly. It's gonna be really balanced on the road because this ratio is a nice square size. It's gonna, I can't wait to put this on. It's gonna look absolutely awesome. So you can take off these wheels and tires and we start stripping down the front, the rear suspension, start doing our suspension, and then basically we can lower it down, see what it looks like. None of this is staying. We've got a front bumper, which is all rusty. Um, we're gonna change, change the lights, maybe not in this episode. Maybe this episode is just gonna be wheel tire suspension, but this thing's gonna look absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait. So let's get these wheels off and suspension off. started at the rear it's usually much easier to start at the rear the front the shock runs through the center of it and it's a bit of a battle so i thought to give myself a bit of a motivation boost do the rear this size is the easiest because the shock had snapped off and we kind of just got this the end of it actually stuck in so we'll get that bit out um i've undone the two little bolts which is just here at the base of the spring and we should be just a case of pulling it down you can see it should just pop out um, and then we put our new spring in um, i'm gonna get this piece out and we should have our rear assembled Okay guys, so I've dropped the anti-roll bar down and all that's left now is basically put a bit of force on the rear axle so I'm gonna get my handsome assistant Connor to come in and just pull it down as we get this spring in. And already that looks a hundred times better. I'm gonna get our nice shock absorber in as well. I'm gonna do these bolts up at the bottom. And this rear end will be buttoned up on this side, two inch lift, and then put our extended brake lines in when we get them. And we're replacing these here, just so when we are creeping and crawling, uh, we're not stretching the brake lines. If they split, obviously you've got no brakes. Um, so yeah, time to get the shock in as well. fully installed nice two inch lift this whole chassis will be getting wax sword, so we'll have to wrap these up and then blast the whole chassis but um looking very smart this side i love the yellow it's really going to pop behind those wheels and over to the side get that side done
so the rear's all done, all buttoned up, really happy with the rear. Um, we are still going to put on the same brake lines and just notice the anti roll bar bushes are perished. We're going to go and get a new, one, uh, a new set of those. Just going to do the fronts. We've slackened off the top nuts, they all rotted up, so we've just basically put some heat on them, got them off, they'll quite seize. We've had to grip the piston itself, they're scrapped, so we're going to be replacing those. Just putting it in the air now and basically. It's already got some new turrets on the top. Hopefully I won't have to remove these turrets because these are the latest design ones where you can kind of squish the shock and get them out. If not, it's not a problem. We'll just put our new front set in. But um, basically, we should have the front set buttoned up pretty quickly, put the wheels on, see what it looks like. So we've got our full suspension kit in, also put in our braided steel extended lines. These are plus 40 mil. Um, so if this thing is articulating and stretching, we don't have any concerns of the brake lines failing or anything like that. We need our brakes. So put in our rear braided extended hoses as well. Also replace the heavily perished anti rollbar mounts. Just got to zip those bolts up and then it is time to put the wheels on. So I'm super excited about this. Literally just going to buzz those up. Um, we've cleaned the suspension, the rest of it looks super smart, really like the look of this. Once everything's sprayed black underneath as well, that'll really pop against these wheels. Can't wait for the extended arch to go, to go on, but um, for now, let's get these wheels on. Two inch lift kit fitted, we've also got our plus 40 mil steel braided brake lines fitted. I've also put on our new set of D-bushes for the anti roll bar at the rear. Now time to fit these monstrous wheels and tyres, bring this car on the ground and see what it's finally going to look like. So I'm sure these things are going to be super heavy, but I'm going to give it a go, throw these bad boys on. I'm only going to fit four wheel nuts at the moment because we're waiting for some lockers, but we've got the correct steel wheel nuts to be going on. And, um, well, this is going to be a bit of world's strongest man, but... Oh! Oh! Luckily, I am the world's strongest man. <laughs> oh, my foot's in the way. I can't really see what they look like. Woo! So we've got extended arches going on here as well. And um, we've got this in an ET minus 32 um, offset, which is essentially the same as a 30 mil spacer or 32. And basically, these are gonna look absolutely chaos. These things are going to mean this whole car, the whole engine of this car is going to be completely different from now on. The stuff we're going to fit into this, we've got a lot planned for this car. And these are kind of the massive giveaway of the direction this car is going to be going in. We've also got a winch, winch bumper, full LED conversion, extended arches, roof rack, snorkel, ladder. Probably going to be in another video, but let's get the rest of these wheels on because this is just, they look absolutely mental. And the side profile of them, I hope the wheel arches can get that, can kind of cover them, but. These are absolutely mad. Let's get the rest of these wheels on. on a swing away wheel carrier so that we can actually well not damage the rear door or the hinges so we won't be putting this one on yet but for now let's bring it down and see what it's going to look like with our two inch lift 
and these absolutely huge wheels and tyres. This is one of these great moments when it rests on its own weight and you see what we're dealing with when you've done suspension, wheels and tyres. It's been a little massive because we haven't got the wheel arches on. Actually, to be fair, it actually does look massive with the height of the wing. That's completely on its own weight now. Well, this looks absolutely mad, Matt, because it's mental. Jesus. Let me grab a wheel arch, because that gives a, a better idea of how this thing's going to look. Going to be, they're not fitted obviously, they do cover nicely ish. This thing is just going to look crazy. Absolutely love these wooden tyres, perfect choice. Suspension is looking good. I'm excited to see this image pull together. Once we've got the full LED lights in, roof rack, ladder, snorkel, winch, and winch bumper, extended arches on. Gonna be a completely different car to what we started with. So guys, end of day one, and uh, we've done a number of other things, but we've fitted obviously the wheels and suspension and a few other bits on this. Tomorrow, we're gonna put the arches on, the bonnet on, and I, I may have to put the LEDs into it just to see what this thing looks like, because it's killing me, the fact that those are hanging out and looking horrible. So I'm gonna whip, mm. we'll see how we get on tomorrow, but good progress today, loving how it looks. These wheels and tire setup is absolutely savage. And uh, see you guys bright up. Morning guys, next day here, and basically we've got the wheels and tyres, suspension on yesterday, and it's looking absolutely mental. I can't believe how wide the wheels are, actually. I'm quite concerned it's going to be absolutely massive outside the arch, but we'll work with what we've got. But uh, this morning, we're going to fit the arches, and to do that, these bumperettes are kind of in the way, so we can strip off the front bumper, strip off the grille, and then that bumper's not actually going back on, so maybe we test fit the new bumper, who knows, but first thing we'll do is take off this grille ground. So we've got our aircon grill off, and that means that we can access our bumper, well, to take the bumper off, which is already, it's already rusted, and it's got a big crease there, obviously it's been pushed back into the wing, luckily it's gone underneath and missed it, so let's strip that off, and then we can, uh, well, put our arches on. So with our aircon shroud removed, <laughs> do you mind, put shroud off, it looks like we hit a friend of maybe a few years, Maybe a few years ago, oh no, that just won't do. Oh, no, oh, no, no. So guys, we've got all of our arches fitted and they're absolutely mental on this build. It's really tied together this whole car. They were a bit of a pain to fit, I'll be honest. A lot of fettling, but I think we've done it perfectly. We've got the rear on slightly higher than the front to continue its rake. And got them really nice and square, looking absolutely amazing. Now I do just want to wrap our new front bumper and take a look at what we've got and see what it's gonna look like on the front. Okay guys, so we've got our new bumper, I haven't unboxed it yet.
a very, very nice modern winch bumper that weighs an absolute ton. So guys, we've got this huge winch bumper going on, and we're going to have, that's obviously an indication of what we're going to have in here, we're going to have a nice winch, and um, this car's going to look absolutely amazing, it's going to be really cool with the tiny lights as well, daytime running lights, we have to wire them up, really, really nice OEM looking bumper, with obviously some modern add-ons, and we've got a nice winch tray here, and this is going to look absolutely mad, along with this kind of styling, we're going to continue this theme, and we've got a few more goodies to show you guys, but, so guys, before we go, I'm actually just going to pull it out. I just want to see what this thing looks like in the sunshine with its kind of new starts. Give it a little bit of a, a test around the yard and see what we think it looks like. Because uh, there's one thing kind of getting it on the lift, but once you put it outside, it looks like a totally different beast. So I'm going to jump in now, start it up, and we'll roll it outside and have a bit of a walk around it. I realise we haven't got a grill on, we haven't got a winch on, we haven't got a bonnet on. But I love the look of this because this is like the biggest you want to go, but still have it as like a daily car. It's still going to have the exact same kind of, it's not going to feel stupidly lifted. It's not going to be horrible to drive on the road. It's got some nice tyres that will roll nicely. Steering, you still got full, you still remain full lock to lock. And it's not too loud and it's not too shouty, but it's just got, it's just something really cool about this one. Love how it looks, love the arches, they fit really nicely. It took a bit more work than we thought, but it just looks really, really mean and really cool. So I'm really, really happy with its kind of stance. We took the time to make sure that the arches were level and the rear ones are slightly higher than the other ones. Wheels and tyre setup is absolutely perfect. The offset is great as well. We've kind of got this really nice, slight bit of poke on it. I think the Amazon driver is trying to deliver something here. Ooh but looking super cool. Very nice. And uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors, and drop your comments and thoughts down below, and I'll catch you guys next time.